right. Now that Bill's here, we'll start rolling. Up and down the fingers. And Alaska, yes. And into the palm. And the pass to the pinky. And the thumb. Down to the wrist. Up to the knuckles and across. And we'll take the ball into one hand and squeeze. And then the other. Back to the first. And then the other. And we'll go around the back. Switch. 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 Hinge at the waist, go through the legs. Switch. Switch. And switch. Put the ball on the ground. Assess the feet. Step on the ball in the middle of the foot, press down three times. Up to the knuckles, once on each. Roll across the knuckles. Roll across the top of the heel. And bring the ball just below the first knuckle and press. Side of the top of the heel. Middle of the metacosis. Roll down the bones. And scroll. Three, two, one, release, reassess. Repeat on the other foot, three times in the middle. Knuckles. Roll across. Roll across the top of the heel. Press in the three spots. Roll down the bones. And screw. Three, two, one. Get the ball out of the way. Reassess. And we'll do some good mornings. And then shake the treats. On the center, twist the waist, swing the arms. And the center with ocean wave breathing.
And two, fingers of thumb behind the base of the spine. Gather style. Center, gather from the other side. And center, steps forward. And then knee towards the opposite elbow. Slap the opposite heel in the front. And then behind. <laughs> Cross step with a twist and a punch. And then we'll walk or march or jog. So today, back pushes four with or without something in your hand. Zap. And uh, lots of squats in that. So Get those now to get the heart rate going, but whatever you do, be safe. Continue doing what you're doing, of course. And um, we'll do some rolling after class. I want to start running myself in five, four, three, two, one. Then, one, two, and three, two pass. It is the fingers and raise the hands up. Up on your toes if you can. Yeah, come on down and bend back if you can. Yeah, come back to center. Lower the hand. No, no, I'm sorry. Bend in one direction. Uh, 
And then the other. And then come back to center, lower the hands to the chest and push out. Yeah, come on down, interlace the fingers behind the back, raise the hands up, squeeze the shoulder blades. And a little higher. Come on down and shrug. And then roll the shoulders back. And forward. Extend the arms, rotate. Go the other way. One palm down, one palm up, flip flop. And bring one arm across. For acid. And then the other. Pull this arm behind the back, press down and in. And then the other. Form A W, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. And release. Squeeze. Release. And squeeze. Release, grab both elbows, rock side to side. And then put your fists on your temples and bring your elbows forward and back. And go on down with the hands and rotate the neck. Go the other way. Nod. And go ear to shoulders. Go back to center, bring one hand up over, cup the ear, look up, chin up, tug chin. Chin down on the collarbone, still tugging. Looking out of the other corner of your eyes towards the floor. Back to center, same thing the other way. Looking up. And down. And let's grab a stick. 
Put it inside the arch of one foot, other foot comes out to the side, bend that knee, slide down, stretch the inner thighs. Same thing the other way. Hey, come on up. We're going to stick out in front, toes about six inches away. Drop the top of the stick to the collarbone, slide down. Lift the sole of the foot, wiggle it if you can. Come on up, press the sole of that foot against the stick. And then repeat with the other leg. Push the hamstrings. And then the cat. One and back to center for a booyah stick day, starting with flip flops. And then big circles out. And in. And then lateral in one direction. And the other. Bring the stick behind, put it in the crook of the elbows. Twist at the waist. And then bend back, if you can. Otherwise, keep twisting. Come back to center. Tuck in your chin. Back like a pigeon. Bring the stick up to the shoulders. Twist the body, keep the head and hips facing forward. And then bring the stick up over the head, down below, back up and behind if you can. Stop at the shoulders, push out. And then bring the stick down to one side, hold on at or near the top, swing behind. And 
and then use the other arm to do the same. And I'm going to stick into the front hold on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two. Step back. Come up on your toes for a second. Back on your heels for a second. We're rocking back and forth about 20 times or so. And one to all right. Put the stick to one side, come up on the toe of the other foot, or the foot on the other side. If you can, lift that leg, move it around if you can. Pick up the stick if you can. Move it around if you can. Three, two, one, come down, put the stick on the other side, lift the other toe to the ground, and repeat, go as far as you feel comfortable doing. Three, two, one, come down. And put the stick down. If you're going to use something in your hands, grab whatever it may be. What do you think for a pencil to pick the time? Uh -huh. Four moves as always. Front phrase. The squat. Around the clock, either outside or in, and a press. We're going to do three rounds of 10 of each, picking up speed and moving the squats around in the sequence. But we're going to start with the squat in three, two, one, two. And that's 10. Take a nice breath. Raisins. And the breath. Around the clock. And presses. And take a few breaths. 
We're going to pick up speed on this one. We're going to move squats into the number two slots. And we'll get going in three, two, one. Right, we're halfway there. I'm going to go through the middle. Impressive. And a few bits. Yeah. This time we'll move squats into number three. And we'll go even a little tiny tad bit faster. In two, three, two, one. As I usually do, I'm going to do um, five and five on the round the clock, but you can do whatever. Feels right for you, as always. And squats. Last one presses. And 10, all right. Whew. All right, gather your breath. Uh, as I explain this week's breathing, which is a new one. Uh, but it's very similar to what we did last week. Last week we did box breathing, four in, four hold, four out, four hold. This is triangle. Four in through the nose, four out hold, and four out through the nose. The only difference is after you do the four in, you're gonna put your neck down uh, your uh, chin down to your neck or your chest and hold for four with your chin down and then raise it up and exhale through the nose for four. We'll do seven rounds again and uh, start in three, two, one.
one more. And then we'll rub the hands together. Come to your feet. Step on the cat. On the chibo. And center. Two breaths. We're opening our hearts. Hold so on the inhale, exhale, center. And center. You want to take your breaths. Bring down chi. Yeah, heard up. And ah. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you, Tom. Oh, Mary, you're very welcome. Have a great, gorgeous day out there. Yeah, yeah, you too. Uh -huh. Richard, Thanks, welcome back, Bill. Good to see you. Same here. Enjoy. And Thank Ava, you. hello. Okay. Um I'm doing some rolling. Uh, so anybody who is sticking with us, grab a ball and a roller. And we'll get on the floor. Going blue today. All right. We're gonna oh, we gotta do the floor camera here. There we go. Gonna do the upper body, putting the ball underneath the trapezius, and rolling around, looking for that tender spot or trying to choose which one to lean into and breathe into and release. And now we go over to the rear deltoid on the same side, top of the shoulder. And again, move the arm around. I'm looking for that one spot that really needs it. And I'm going off the camera here. All right. There we go. Put some pressure on. Gonna lean into it. Three, two, one, and back to the other trap. Oh, hit it right off the bat. Mm. Yeah. 
and then the other rear deltoid. And come on up with the ball, put the roller at the hairline. Moves back and forth with the head, making a note of restrictions, pain, how far you go one way as opposed to the other. And then stay right and do four rotations in one direction. And four in the other. Then go left and do four and four. And then go to the center and do eight figure eights, starting in one direction for four and in the other for the final four. And then go back to the right and do eight nods. Do eight nods on the left. And eight in the middle. And then ears back and forth, side to side, assessing if you've improved the range of motion or reduced any pain, or make a note of it if you increased it. The pain, that is. Because maybe you don't want to do that again. And three, two, one, bring the roller to the middle of the rib cage and cross the chest or behind your head. Roll to the bottom of the rib cage, back to the middle. Back and forth. Don't go below the rib cage. And then stop at the middle and go to the top of your shoulders and back down, keeping below the neck. And then roll all the way down to the bottom, all the way back to the top a few times. Bottom of the rib cage, top of the shoulders. That is one more. Ah. And that's it. Have a great day. See you all tomorrow.